Good morning, NCS. It's Benson. Here are the daily announcements for Tuesday, January 17th. Good morning, NCS. This is X here. The EPA is hosting the snowball dance for 9th grade through 12th. This Saturday night from 8 to 10 in the NPR. Tickets are $10. And remember that if you are bringing a date from another school, you will fill out a form that you can get from the front office. The spring retreat is coming on March 3rd to the 5th and will be here before you know it. More information will be coming soon, so check the weekly announcement email before you don't want to miss your chance to sign up and go. Go! Go, please add that last part. Oh, what are we doing? Good morning, NCS. I'm Jalen. If you can't make it to a game, you can view many of our home games on our NCS Media and Broadcasting YouTube channel at ncsbroadcast.com. Please share your photos of the school year by using the yearbook snap app, which is available for iPhone and Android. Simply search for Nashville Christian School and enter the code EaglePix to begin uploading. You never know, your photos could wind up in the yearbook. Remember to have your student ID with you at all times. If you lose your ID, please report it to Miss Kennedy in the high school office immediately so that you can get a new one. If you don't have your ID with you, you could start receiving demerits. Hi, good morning, Eagles. This is Kathy here. Each student is required to have 60 service hours before they graduate. That averages out to 15 service hours per year. You can record your service hours by emailing your counselor the active service, the number of hours, and the service date. 9th to 10th graders email Miss Lee, and 11th to 12th graders email Miss King. Hi, it's Ariel. Students, please do not let anyone without an NCS ID enter through any of the doors at school, even if you know them. Anyone without an NCS ID card must enter through the front doors and check in at the office. This is for everyone's safety. Thank you. Hi Eagles, I'm Charlie. You can use the Stop It app to report if you or someone you know is having problems with anything in school, after school, online, or any other area of life. Just download the app from any app store and use our school code and CS Eagles to begin using it. As we head into the winter months along with cold and flu season, here's a reminder that if you are not feeling well, you need to see Nurse Carol or Nurse Mariah before calling a parent or guardian to be picked up from school. Good morning Eagles, this is Reagan. Here are the sports for this week. Today, high school wrestling has a match versus BA and MBA at BA starting at 5.30. Tonight is also the coming home game as the basketball teams play Friendship Christian here. The Lady Eagles varsity tips off at 6 and the boys varsity starts at 7.30. On Thursday, high school wrestling has a home match versus FRA and Columbia Central that starts at 5.30. And then on Friday, the high school wrestling team hosts Clarksville High School here at NCS for a match that starts at 5.30 p.m. Also on Friday, the high school basketball teams travel to Ezel Harding. Girls Varsity plays at 6 p.m. and Boys Varsity plays at 7.30. Good morning, NCS. My name is Ms. Brian. If you don't know me, I teach English here in the high school. And I am also in charge of the International Trips program here at Nashville Christian. And I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about it because you've seen that we have a trip to Scotland next summer, but you know, I haven't been able to get on here and give you a whole lot of information about it. So here I am. And when I'm finished, um, come find me in HS4 if you guys have any questions or if you want to know how to enroll for a trip. But one thing that I wanted to do today was give you a little more information on just how our international trips work and just some of the places that we've been and where we're going. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. And one thing that, or the first thing that I want to show you is this timeline. And you will see that I've listed out all the places that we've been and where we're going. And I've added a picture there that is for each trip is either one of my favorite parts about the trip or something that I'm looking forward to. So you can see that in 2017, we took a World War II themed tour. For that tour, we got to see London, Paris, Berlin, Munich, we got to go to Austria, which is where that picture right there was t um, taken, not by me, but that is uh, called the Eagle's Nest. It is Hitler's retreat, and it was a place where he would go and relax, and um, he had a bunker up there as well that he could go and hide in in case of an air raid from the Allies. So that was really cool. I mean, it's a beautiful place because it's in the Alps, but it was really cool to see that part of history. 
Then in 2019, I took a big group to Britain and Ireland. So that was Scotland, Wales, England, and Ireland. Um, so much of that tour was just so beautiful and amazing. But the picture I have here is of the London Eye, and that's that huge Ferris wheel that you can get in little pods and it moves you around. And it's really cool to see the whole city from that view. And then this past summer, because of COVID, we got backed up and I took two tours. I took one to Paris, Florence, and Rome. And we spent about two days in Paris and then the rest of the time was in Italy. And the picture I've got there, one of my favorite moments, and I know the girls who went with me, we've talked about this. This is uh, one of their favorite moments as well as we took a cruise down the Seine and it was at night and the Eiffel Tower was all lit up. The city was all lit up. We had some conversations with people from other parts of the United States and the world. And it was just really cool. It was a, a core memory for all of us, I think. And then a few, minute, uh, a few months later, a few weeks later, excuse me, I took a group of people to Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. And the picture you see there is from Mount Pilatus in Switzerland. So we took a tram up the mountain and we walked around. We walked around some trails um, very, very high up. And then we took a cog railway, like a little train on the way down. And that was really cool um, to see just that different view of going back down the mountain. So this summer we have a group going to Greece and what I've got pictured there is the Saronic Islands. So we've got a one day cruise to some islands off of the mainland. And then some other things that we're gonna see is of course Athens, cause you gotta see Athens when you go to Greece. We're gonna be seeing the temples of Apollo and Poseidon. And um, those of you who have already learned about Greek mythology and whatever class that you've learned it in. You'll see a lot of things that you've learned. You'll see temples, you'll see cities that you've heard about and read about, and you'll see um, some actual remains of an old Greek amphitheater. So it's I'm excited to see all of this history. And then next summer, which you've heard about, is our trip to Scotland. And what I've got pictured there is Loch Ness. And so there is actually a castle there. It's not just a lake with a fabled monster. There is a castle that we'll be able to take a boat across the lake to go see. So we're spending the entire time in Scotland and the entire time in Greece for these next two tours coming up. And my goal there was to keep us from having to jump around countries so much so we could just focus on one and kind of take more of a, a leisurely pace in one country rather than seeing a whole lot of them within several days. Hey guys, I'm Reagan and I'm here with Dr. Bohr. And the question for today is if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Coach Shaw, because he would hide until everybody was dead, then come running out and say he'd won. I'm here with Miss Kennedy. And the question for today is, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Uh, Mr. Carlucci, no questions asked. Um, why? I'm pretty sure he's threatened to kill me secretly, so I think he could do it easily. I, I think you're right. I'm here with... Skylar. And the question for today is, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Coach Brothers. He's just smarter. He's better. He's stronger. He is better. I'm here with... Miss Brian. And the question for today is if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Oh, for sure, Mr. Carlucci. He would be out there like with his special skills and just winning all of the things. We, we've gotten a few of that today. So, yeah. I'm here with Miss Maroney. And the question is if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? I think Miss Lowe would win because she's very small and she could hide in many crevices and no one would ever find her. I'm here with... Sawyer. And the question is, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Coach King. Why? Because he's Coach King. That's fair. I'm here with... Coach Jeff Brothers. All right, and the question is, um, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Same answer, Coach Jeff Brothers, um, because I'm a winner. That's a great answer. Thank you. I'm here with Coach Harding. And if all of the teachers and coaches were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? So I put a lot of thought into this one, and I think there'd be a lot of good contestants, but I think if it came down to it, Coach King would win the Hunger Games. 
I think he he'd do what it takes to win. I, I think he he might cut a few corners and uh, he, he's gonna win. All right, who am I here with? Coach King. And the question is, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? I'm going uh, Coach McCleary. Why? Because I have no idea, but he can survive in the woods. That, that's a great answer. Thank you. He's crazy. He is very crazy. And Coach Brothers, I'm, if like if it was like two guys to battle it out, Coach Brothers and Coach McCleary, and then the undercover guy, Mr. Carlucci. I'd, I'd pay to watch that. Thank you. I'm here with Callie. And the question is, if all the staff were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Coach Mike, because he would just hide and like fight nobody. He would just hide till the end. I'm here with Tegan. And the question is, if all the teachers were in the Hunger Games, who would win and why? Miss Scholl, because um, I don't think anyone could kill her. And I think she'd win, because she's better than everyone. So, yeah, she is kind of ruthless. Good answer. Good morning, Eagles. This is Griffin. I'm here with the Bible verse. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians 1.13. This is Reed. Please bow for a prayer. Darling Father, thank you for this amazing weather that, we, that we've had. But Lord, I pray that you, that you protect all of the players in the upcoming games. Lord, I or I pray for everyone in California that's affected by the floods and all the rain, and I just pray that you help them. Lord, I also pray for everyone in Ukraine and just the terror that's going on there. And Lord, you know that there's so many other prayers that need to be answered. I just pray that you answer those. And your sister's name, pray. Amen. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you would like to see included in future announcement videos, just let us know. Smash that like and sub button and we'll see you in the next one.